Good morning and welcome in. I am the Canadian trucker Rudy and I am here with Diego. I'm Trucker's Rudy's son. Well, thank you guys for joining my channel and stay tuned for the rest of my day. You know you start the day right when you get yourself a Tim Hortons coffee, right? Oh yeah. Anyways, we are ready to roll. Finish doing our uh, pre-trip, and uh, this is a good, uh, good rest area up here in Ontario. Cause they got Tim Hortons in it. Oh yeah, now we're going to go make our way over to uh, Mississauga, Ontario, which is part of Toronto. Yep, they even have free internet up here at the rest area. I was even, even able to uh, hook up to it, you know. For 362 kilometers. Managed to upload one video 100% and the other one was 70% uh, this morning. So that was awesome. You should have that at more places, you know. Have free internet. Especially on rest areas, you know. Well, I know in the, in the US and Ohio they got that. I know there's a few other places they have it too, but not too many places. Nap in the 175, okay. Now we got about 417 kilometers to go to uh, Mississauga. That is uh, about four and a quarter. Four and a half hours, depending on the traffic. That's how it is. I could have actually gone further last night if I really wanted to, but yeah, I figured. Don't have a reload yet, anyway, so figured I'd just stop in there. I saw the sign; they got free Wi-Fi in there, and I needed to upload a uh, video. I promise you guys. Uh, yesterday that I was going to release a video today where I met up with a subscriber subscriber of mine now I know this video will have already been released by the time you watch this but uh, yeah, it's something to talk about anyways right so uh, managed to get that video uploaded now we are uh, we are set Right away, we already got some construction going on. <laughs> oh well, we want to drive on a nice road too, right? Yes, sir. -y. Anyways, let's get down the road and have ourselves a great day. Hey guys, we are in Mississauga, Ontario. I uh, fueled up, dropped my empty at the yard, and. Uh, Went over to the uh, customer to go pick up my load and uh, as I was picking up my load I noticed a little bit of oil around uh, my... Uh, oh, that's pretty heavy traffic up here. Anyways, I noticed a little bit of oil uh, on my fender. So I went and I checked it out and I noticed uh, I got a wheel seal leaking on my uh, drive tire on the driver's side. So got a hold of dispatch and uh, told them what I was going to do, get it uh, fixed somewhere obviously, but uh, 
told him I was gonna go drop the uh, trailer at our yard and uh, I called around a few places and found a place that said that they're going to take me in so we'll go see if they will be able to fix it immediately talked to a buddy of mine already and he said it should only take about an hour an hour and a half to get it fixed so keep our fingers crossed so we don't lose our load I would hate to spend another night here in Toronto but I'm gonna see if I can uh, show you guys a little bit what it looks like when a wheel seal is leaking once I get uh, to the place and I park I'm gonna try and remember to grab my camera and uh, show you guys but let's get over there first and then we'll uh, see you over there hey guys we are uh, supposedly at the shop we'll go inside here in a minute and see if they can fix me up but I just wanted to show you guys this is actually my drive tire and it was a little bit oily there so I'm gonna show you guys a little bit on what it looks like when it's uh, leaking oil you know way over there Anyways, we'll go inside here and get taken care of. Hey guys, we pulled off the wheels. Look at that. That's a pretty nasty mess in there, eh? Oh yeah. Got the uh, tires over here. Let me get this all fixed up. Hey guys, we uh, are getting ready to put the seal on and he says he's gonna put this uh, double seal on here. He said that's a better quality seal. And uh, this is the brand name here. We got the uh, serial code right there yep taking everything apart that's where the seal goes in yeah that looks like a mess that is for sure he said the seal goes right over here and uh, that's where they usually uh, usually put the seal and uh, so we'll get this all fixed up and we'll be out of here in no time alrighty guys we are fixing to put everything back together look at that brand spanking new bricks yep that looks pretty good much better than it did before a brand new seal in there and that's the seal right there that they replaced that's the one that was leaking so we got to clean up the brake drum here a little bit and put everything back together and we'll be on our way home yeah it's not even going to take that long already guys we got the wheel back on and she's looking pretty good just gotta torque it and we're good to go Oh yeah, we'll be out of here pretty soon. Here we go guys, we are back on the road, yeah! That was one of the best shops that I have been in a long time. Not that my shop in Steinbach isn't good, he's really good, I like him very much, but what I meant by that is out here on the road. Out here on the road sometimes, you know, you call him up and uh, you know, I got very good uh, service, you know. I called two shops. I called the Volvo there in uh, Brampton. They wouldn't even answer the phone. So I called another place and they wouldn't take me in. They didn't have no time. Called this guy up. he took take me in right away. He said, yep, they can fix it up for you. So I went over there and he did. He was super, super quick got me in within like 20 minutes he got me in the side the shop he took right he took care of me man you wouldn't believe it i mean in and out of there probably within an hour and a half i was in and out yeah luckily i didn't lose my load yeah called this patch up he said he probably he said probably about two hours max then yeah Got to keep my load. That was very good. And now we are already quite a bit north of uh, Toronto, actually, already. But hey, I was making some phone calls and stuff like that, so I didn't have time to uh, make a video yet. But hey, that was a, that was an awesome guy there. I mean, he's super guy, super cool. Uh, Cool guy there. I uh, would recommend anybody in the Toronto area or if they're close by Brampton or Mississauga or anything like that. You need anything fixed, go to go see this guy. He'll fix you up. He did a nice job too. He doesn't cut any corners. 
and he put the best seal on there, wheel seal that uh, that he knows that is out there. He showed me exactly what he uh, he was going to do. I mean, that was super super quick. And good job, very professional. He can do safeties and everything. He's he's, he's licensed mechanic. And I think what I'm going to do is uh, I took a couple of pictures of his uh, of his business name and uh, his address and phone number and everything. And I'll probably put it in the video. I talked to him about that, and uh, he's, he would actually like me to do that. So I will put him in there because uh, he's an awesome guy. Definitely recommend anybody go, go go see him if you need anything done on your truck. Oh yeah. Then here we are. At least we're getting some miles in today yet, so that way it's easier for me to make it home for Sunday evening. That's my goal anyways, to be home for Sunday evening, so uh, yeah, I think we should make it. for today closed my curtains we are ready for bed yes just went uh, from Mississauga down to uh, Prairie Sound Ontario that is and uh, now we're ready to go to bed I had me a bite to eat up here and uh, so far we're looking good with that wheel seal, everything is good, uh, you're back in business. Yep, what an interesting day, right? What an interesting day, that is for sure. Oh uh, well, as part of trucking, even if you have a personal vehicle, it's going to break down eventually you can't drive it forever well that's what happened to me but we just gotta keep our head straight and uh, get it fixed and get back on the road and put a smile on your face and hey be happy that you're still rolling right <laughs> At least that's what I'm saying to myself. I'm still going to be happy that at least I'm rolling. Well, I was rolling at least up to here. I'm not rolling anymore because I can't see out of the window. <laughs> so I can't be rolling. So uh, anyways, that's about all I got for today. Thank you guys for joining me on my uh, daily vlog. And we will hope to see you again tomorrow. Sometime at least. For those of you that are new to my channel, we welcome you. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, yeah, I would, I would uh, ask you to uh, subscribe to my channel. Yeah, we appreciate that. So, uh, if you wouldn't mind, rate it with you up, give me a thumbs up, and share it with your friends. That's all we get for today, and yeah, we shall see you in the next one. Have a good one. <laughs>